Today I'm going to show you the process that I use to make a spreadsheet presentable to a client. You don't want to be the person who delivers a two-page analysis that the CFO prints off on 50 pages because you didn't take the time to make it printer friendly. Now this is by no means a comprehensive instruction guide, but if you want a standard quick process that works every time that will make you look good, then this tip is for you. When I'm preparing a document to be printer friendly, there's four key areas that I like to focus on. Headers and footers, orientation, margins, and scale. In this case, I want the same row to repeat on every page as it's printed so that when I'm going through the pages, I don't lose my place and reference to the columns that I'm looking at. To do this, I go to print titles. I click on rows to repeat at top, and I'm going to select row one. You can select multiple rows if it's appropriate to the situation. The next thing I'm going to do is add a custom footer. And the reason I like to do this is one, because it looks really good and it gives the, the report user valuable information. So click custom footer. And I'm going to first put the time date stamp, insert date space, insert time. The next thing I'm going to do is add the sheet name. And then finally, I'm going to add the page count page, and then type of, and then click pages, click OK. Now already my document's going to have significant improvements. If I click print preview, I can see my footer. I can see that as I scroll through the pages, my header repeats, but it's still not quite ready. You can see that not all the columns are there. The next thing I'm going to do is adjust the orientation. This document we would be better with a horizontal orientation. So I'm going to change that here by clicking landscape orient orientation. Now I have more columns fitting on the page, but it's not quite ready. I have extra room on the margins, so I'm going to narrow the margins by selecting narrow. This is better, but it's not quite there yet. I still have more columns on this document. And so what I'm going to have to do now is scale it. If I go down to the bottom, there's many scaling options. You can fit sheet on one page, fit columns on one page, fit rows on one page. In this case, I need to fit all of the columns on one page. So I'm, that's what I'm going to select. Now I have all of the columns on the page. I have a nice footer. And as I scroll through the document, I can easily see where I'm at. Now, this is not something that you may do in real life with 6,000 rows, but if you have, for example, an employee document or employee list that has time on it or, or something else, um, this will let you print out two, three, four pages, etc., however many you need, with all of the relevant columns, with a date stamp, with tab name, and the page count at the bottom so that your end user or your client can easily follow this. In summary, Focus on headers and footers, orientation, margins, and scale. As I said, you never know when somebody's going to decide to print out that document. So having these four quick, easy steps will help to make sure that you have a great looking document every time. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more tips in the future, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe so that you'll be the first to be notified when I post a new tip every Wednesday.